official reverse server code a yeah, simple uh, module inside that we have declared uh, parameter limit is equal to 8 and int ij then uh, initial begin then okay now dollar display expect i to increment from 0 to 8 okay so now look out here i is equal we have initialized i is equal to 0 then while uh, i plus plus is less than limit then begin loop on here we are using named block okay and then what's happening display the loop every uh, time uh, when we enter inside this loop it will display that i value then dollar display value of i after the loop after the loop is and right while uh, it reaches the value of 8 8 both are equal so uh, how many times it will run yeah 0 to 7 okay once it reached that 8 what is this this is a post increment operator right so what will be the value we are expecting the value 9 at the end of this loop okay so now uh, we'll see one more loop that is uh, using the variable j we have declared j as a 0 and here we are using pre increment operator so now what will happen and one more thing here we are using named block right then uh, at the end of this loop what we are expecting we are expecting 8 okay are you getting uh, what's happening here it will first i plus plus is equal to first will uh, first yeah, yeah. yeah first it will assign that i then yeah. it will increment in the case of uh, pre increment first with right now we'll see what's what is the result of this uh, program. Mm. Showing error. What is this? Near begin syntax error. Unexpected begin. What is this? Here you have used two times begin. <coughs> okay. So look at the result here. Yeah. First uh, what's happening? We have declared i is equal to zero. Mm -hmm. It will keep on incrementing and uh, once it reaches the value mm -hmm. eight, then only this condition is fails, right? In that case also it will increment. Okay, that's why we are expecting nine at the end of this loop. But in the case of uh, pre-increment, it will exe uh, execute up to 8 only, right? Now, uh, the result. It will increment up to 8 and expected as 9 and it is showing 9. So, it's right, right? Next, uh, 0 to 7. The expected result and uh, the result we got here is same. So, it's working. Next, we'll see the next example. So, here what's happening? We have declared... Uh, data bu data bus bus 1 bus 2 bus 3 bus 4 so totally five variables of data type bit but initial first we have uh, declared all these things to some values right now we are checking whether the data is inside the bus bus 1 bus 2 bus 3 now what we are using instead of uh, directly check uh, 
instead of checking directly with the hardwired values we are checking with the variables bus 1 bus 2 bus 3 with the data right now uh, look at their uh, the same kind of syntax what we have seen in the uh, previous example right so now uh, data data is 0 1 0 is there any 0 1 0 here yeah bus 3 is also same so in the first condition it will execute this one test passed right in the second condition that one right do while loop in system very log we are having this uh, do while loop okay but in very log we don't have uh, that to do right okay now look at here here we want to infer a combination logic that's why we are using combo always underscore combo then the condition is address is less than 128 or address is greater than 255 then done is equal to 0 and outbound is equal to 1 we are assigning 128th bit of sorry 128th uh, 128th location of memory to Outbound. this out out is how many bits 16 bits right okay here yeah, the memory is also 16 bit uh, width okay depth is 512 and then what we are doing here we are declaring the address done of bound so what is the address here whenever the address is between 120 it should be less than 128 or it should be greater than 255 right so in this uh, in this range if there any address it will not come inside from 128 to 255 okay and uh, here what is this while else in else part we are having while loop right while while address is greater than or equal to 128 and address is less than in this gap first we have not considered uh, this gap 128 to 255 here we are considering only that gap if that condition is satisfied it has to do this operation right so for this if we are again having one more uh, else part and after that we are declaring Targeting this logic, right? It's simple. And uh, this initial block is used to force that address value. For after for first uh, after one time units, you are forcing address as a five. After second time unit, you are forcing address as a one twenty eight. So according to that, uh, this will uh, display in different values, right? We'll see what is happening. Thousand. It's showing warning. What is this? Address might read before written in always combo block you will see okay unique case so before we'll uh, discuss about this thing uh, again one, uh, one more time we'll recap unique and uh, priority cases in system we have two special cases right Unique is equivalent to full and parallel case. In uh, synthesis tool, we'll use pragmas, right? Full case and parallel case. So unique, if you are using unique in system log, that is equivalent to mentioning um, full case and parallel case. That means uh, if your uh, opcode is two, uh, totally three bits, but we have mentioned only four uh, scenarios, four test cases, right? So it is mismatching. Remaining four conditions I have not mentioned you have not mentioned right so uh, if you are using unique it will automatically give you warning and uh, one more thing it will execute all the statements here we are having four statements four statements will execute parallelly that is the usage of this unique okay. unique case suppose if we don't use unique then we have to mention default value yeah default value right okay. right now what we are doing here here uh, we are forcing in the opcode value at uh, and uh, a value b value now we'll see what by uh, result will get okay now what value we are putting upcode is equal to one zero one zero means it will it should perform the multiplication operator and a and b also we are forcing from here 